Today, I will be showcasing a ridiculously powerful Animate Diff tutorial by Dr. Lieutenant Data, one of the major driving forces behind the rapid and advanced developments happening with ComfyUI. I will show you the ins and outs of this workflow to allow you to create, refine, and even edit your animations. Before we get started, make sure you have ComfyUI and the ComfyUI Manager installed and up to date. If you need help getting to this point, watch this video here as I walk you through all of the steps. Now, let's get started. If you have Comfy UI installed already and it's all up to date, drag in the workflow file it's located in the description below. You can load that in here. If you're getting a bunch of red boxes and error messages, it's as simple as going into the manager here, then just install missing nodes. Then you should have a few nodes here. The Comfy UI Impact Pack, the Comfy UI Inspire Pack, Animate Diff Evolved, and Comfy UI Video Helper Suite are all the nodes that you will need for this to work. So if they don't show up here, I will have a list of those in the description as well. Then just go up to Install Custom Nodes, then just find those nodes in here by searching in this box. Then just install and restart. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's jump in to see how this workflow works. So first off, just load in your checkpoint here, as always, for SD 1.5, I will be using the Dream Shaper 8 model. Now, if you don't have Animate Diff already and you just installed it, you may need the Motion models. I will also link those below. I recommend the version 2 for the SD 1.5 models, which is this one here. You can also download them here in the Manager. So if you go to Manager, Install Models, you can go to Animate Diff. And you'll have all these models here that will work for Animate Diff, including the Motion Loras. So I installed mine from Hugging Face, so it's saying that I don't have this one installed, but this is the one I'm using here. Or you can use the stabilized version for Animate Diff Evolved there as well. That's a good one too. It doesn't really, it's a little bit more stable, but some, sometimes it doesn't give you as much motion as I would like, so that's why I'm sticking with the version 2. I will also link the Hugging Face page below if you don't want to install it through here. So the default settings are fine. I don't, I haven't really touched this at all. So you have your VAE here. So with the prompt, obviously you input what you want and then it'll pipe it out, throw it in the sampler. And then from there, it'll generate the animation with Animate Diff. And then it'll jump down in here. And then I'm not gonna go into the technicalities of this. If you want, if you're interested in the science behind this, you can go see Dr. Lieutenant Data's video where he explains the technicalities of it. But essentially, this is detecting the face in each frame and then just kind of applying it with the motion model and then segmenting it out and turning it into a video here. This one is a little bit, it's kind of close because the original image or the original the original animation was already pretty good but you can see a lot of improvements on this like the makeup and stuff and the eyes have a little bit more detail to them so it's much better but as you start to play with this workflow a lot and start generating a lot of stuff you'll see that it gets really messy here and then once it gets you know segmented out and cleaned up that you'll see the power of this workflow then this final stage here is where you can actually input a mask to kind of change something in the animation itself. So this is something that I've only played around with a couple of times because I haven't actually gotten a really good result, but I will just kind of quickly go over how this part works. So to showcase this, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. So I need a prompt. And to get the prompt, I'm going to use the Tyrant Prompt Generator because it is the quickest and easiest way to get a high quality prompt. So for this, I'm going to do realistic woman in a white dress. And it's just going to generate real quick. Cool. And we're just going to copy that and actually paste this in the new negative prompt generator right there. Now we're just going to paste the positive prompt here. Go back, grab the negative prompt, and paste that. Cool. And for this, I'm going to use the same exact seed. So let's queue it up. Just jumping here into the K sampler. All right, and then it's going to jump here. Boom. I will cover on this preview image section up here, but it's gonna jump down here, segment out all the frames. I don't even know if that's the right term for it. Segmenting, segs, segs just sounds a bit odd. So I'm just gonna call it segmenting. It's making segs, it's segsing, it's having segs. And immediately, you can see a night and day difference between the two. This looks a lot better. And between these, there's no difference. So what the fuck does this do? Well, if you scroll up here, 
So in this little corner up here, we have a sampled image from the batch. So this, what we do with this, We'll just copy it. So we'll actually save this image, then just bring it down here into the load image and just load it in. Now that it's in here, we can impaint by just right clicking, and then just open and mask editor. So I'm just going to mask her lips like that. Should be good. Then save to node. Then just go down here. And this is the prompt you want to run on top of this mask to tell the model what you want to change. So tried this out before. Again, didn't get the best result but I'm going to have her smile. I want her to have, you know, nice clean teeth and we'll see if it works. And then the default on the alpha is 255. So I'll just switch it back and then we'll just Q prompt. Since all the seeds are the same, it'll just pick up right, right here. So Q prompt, then it's just gonna start here. And of course, since I'm showing this, it's working perfectly. I think it's because there's not that much movement. In the, in the one I was trying to do before, her head was kind of moving differently. So the mask was actually being transported to different parts of her face because it was still in that same area on the canvas. Whereas this one, it's her mouth is generally in the same spot on the animation. So I think that's why it's working a lot better, but I'm glad it works. So now you can see that it is actually really useful. So yeah, she goes from being low detailed to being, you know, much better detailed to being betterly detailed and smiling. So you can see the power in this workflow and it's actually mind blowing. And I meant to cover this a couple weeks ago, but shit has been insanely busy over here. And there are a ton of new workflows, tons of new new developments coming out in the AI space. So stick around. I got a lot more to show you. And to finish this off, I will show you how to even further improve this video by interpolating the frames and upscaling it. So right now, this is a 512 by 512, which is basically useless. So I have it loaded into Topaz Video AI, one of my favorite AI softwares. So I'll show you why. So we have this 512 by 512 at 8 FPS. This is an 8 FPS animation. So we're going to bump that up. Let's do 60 frames per second. And then we're going to do and bump it up to a 1024 by 1024. Then it's going to run two different AI models, the enhancement AI and the frame interpolation AI. So I'm just going to run the preview here. Now look at the difference. Buttery smooth, 60 frames per second, and it's 1024 by 1024. All right, and that is the end of this workflow tutorial. Hopefully it made sense. I hope you're able to follow along and are now able to create your own animations using this method. Again, a huge shout out to Dr. Lieutenant Data for this workflow, in addition to all the work he does to make Comfy UI what it is right now and will be in the future. If you're running into any issues, have any questions, or just wanna be part of a community looking to better themselves in all realms, make sure you check out the Tyrant Empire in the link below to join our private community for absolutely free. With that said, my friend, I am out of here. Until next time, keep conquering.